last but not least, the best thing out of the whole lot. What's going on guys? Jessica here. We are back out in the garage. I do have the garage door open today to try to help with the light a little bit. Um, but anyway, today we're going to pull some orders and then we're gonna find out what's in these bags back here. And there's a couple of trays down there too. I've got them covered up for the moment. But, uh, so Zena and I did some Facebook marketplace pickups yesterday. She's been killing it on the marketplace game. She's been finding all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, I'm gonna show you what we picked up yesterday. And also we'll talk about one of the things that sold is something that we picked up. Uh, gosh, I went and picked it up on Friday, I do believe. Uh, she made a deal with somebody and I went and picked it up while she was at work. So we've already sold something from that lot. So we'll get to that in a minute. Let's go ahead and pull our first order. Uh, these sales are from Saturday evening, all day Sunday, and so far this morning on Monday. So our first sale is a board game that's been it's been in our um, eBay store for quite a while. I actually just reduced the price on it and somebody bought it as a gift. It is a board game called Dragon Castle. And, oh, whew, I got nervous, y'all. I was like this, where'd it go? It's supposed to be right here. It's right there. <laughs> that freaked me out a little bit. So we've got Dragon Castle. So we've got Dragon Castle. It's kind of heavy. Um, should be going priority, but oh yeah, definitely priority. This sold for $29. I'm going to go ahead and put it onto the toolbox. It's kind of heavy, but let's sit that down. Yeah, that's a, that's a hefty one. Um, next is a cassette tape in the black file cabinet. There it is. I found it. I found it. There we go. Steven Spielberg. John Williams collaboration, and that sold for $5.74. All right, up next is a Imaginex, the Incredible Hulk figure, and it is, let me move this. I've got this t-shirt hanging over here that needs to get listed. It's in, we have one of these hangers. It's like a jewelry organizer. Stuff a lot of little small items into it. It says Black Pocket, which is, oh, there he is, up there at the top. Y'all, he jumped out. I was hanging it back up and he jumped clean out of that thing. All right, so we've got this little Imaginex Hulk. You know what the Hulk looks like. He sold for $6, not bad, not all. Not all Imaginex figures are worth listing on eBay. That was listed a long time ago when I was doing a lot of three, four and $5 items. So I still got a lot of that laying around. Every once in a while I list stuff that low, but Lately, I've been trying to do better and do at least $15 if I can. Uh, let's see. Our next item is another Black Sabbath CD. I think we only have one or two more Black Sabbath CDs from the Ben's haul that we did a while back. Uh, let's see. It's an E4 Black Sabbath Paranoid, Paranoid Deluxe Expanded Edition. So that's going to be down here. Is that it right there on top? I think that's a different one. Oh yeah, here we go. It's this one here. Oh yeah, so we only have this one and this one should be all the Black Sabbath. Yeah, I think so. So very cool. That sold for $18.04, so that would have been on... I sent some sort of weird discount on that one to get $0.04, cents, but whatever. $18.04, happy with that. Paid probably a quarter or so at the, at the bins. It's pretty light, so... Always happy to turn a quarter into eighteen dollars. Um, our next item I've actually already pulled. It's over here on the bench, so we'll go take a look at that. Okay, so this next one is this Alabama, like uh, Crimson Tide pullover. It's a Pro Line pullover. I just listed this and it sold overnight for thirty-two dollars. That's been hanging in our closet to be listed since last year around this time. It's just been hanging there and I thought the other day, I was like, man, I really should list some more jackets. We've got plenty of jackets and pullovers and heavy coats that really need to be listed. So I did about eight jackets and such and this one sold overnight, so can't beat that. Next up is a CD. So we got this Cat Stevens CD in 
E2, Cat Stevens' Greatest Hits. It's going to be down here in E2. Let's see. A lot of Dave Matthews right there. I need to get these cassettes put moved over into the into the black file cabinet. Cat Stevens, where are you? Watch, it's gonna be the last one I pick up. What the heck? Is it this one right here? Of course. What did I say? Last one I look at. You know why it's the last one you look at? Because once you looked at it, you found it. Cat Stevens Greatest Hits, this sold for four whole dollars. All right, up next is a hat. Let me close this bin real quick and we'll grab that hat. Okay, so we've got a hat in HB13, which is up here on the top. Let's see if I can do this. We've got a whole stack of all of our Christmas stuff here. We pulled everything down out of the attic yesterday. So we're, we've been, Zena got the tree up. We just got to get it decorated and put all the decorations on the outside of the house. But let's see. What was the hat again? I already forgot. It is a Glock camo hat, like Glock like the gun. Here we go, right there. Easy to find, got this Glock hat. Let's see if you guys are getting some weird lighting because I got that door open over there. There we go, you can see that a little bit better. Camo hat, Glock logo on the front. That sold for $11.90. That would have been on an offer, probably a 15% off. Or actually I do have a coupon 15% off coupon on the whole store right now. So they may have used that coupon and not me send an offer, but let's see. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. Let's pull. We'll pull one more and then we'll go over. We've got a something from the hall on the bench has already sold because I did list a bunch of it already. So our next item is this is a cute one. It's in A1. Let me pull A1 down real quick. Okay, so here's A1. Let me pull these out. There it is. Okay, it's in this little bag, so you can't see it too well. Um, I'll put a better picture on the screen for you guys. This is a little tiny sweater for a bottle of Tito's. Um, what does Tito's make? Not vodka. Oh my gosh, tequila. Tito's tequila. Um, it's a tiny little, it says handmade sweater. Oh, handmade vodka, that's what it is. Super cute little sweater. This sold for $7. This has been in our store for quite some time as well. Apparently somebody's going to give it as a gift for Christmas. So that's really cool. So let me get this bin closed up. And then we'll go over to the toolbox. I'll show you the next order, which will lead us into the stuff that's on the toolbox. Okay, so like I said, Xena has been buying stuff on Facebook Marketplace lately. And our next order is something that I picked up on Friday. So it is... She bought a lot of about 50 Disney Dorables. It's these tiny little, you can see this little guy. This is Dr. Facilier, Facilier, whatever, from the uh, Princess and the Frog, the Disney movie. This is a tiny little, they look like little Funko Pops, but they're not Funko Pops. They are made by Disney. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like maybe an inch tall. She got a lot of these for, oh gosh, what did we pay? $20 for 50 or 53 of them. Ooh, we sold something. Woohoo, an extra order to pull. But anyway, so we bought these. Um, I went through them individually, figured out what was worth putting on eBay, what wasn't. Um, and we ended up, I did one, two, three, four listings on eBay, I do believe. And then the rest we packaged up either individually or in... Um, characters from the same movie um, and put them into our booth actually yesterday so we listed the we put them in the booth for two dollars a piece or of course if you bought a pack that had multiple in it we lowered the price just a little bit so um very cool this one sold for eight dollars not bad on that one and our next item is actually something from here so let me tell you what we'll just get into what's in what's in these and then I'll show you what sold out of this at the end. Give me just a second. I'm going to clear these orders off and then we'll be right back. All right, you guys. So here are the bags. Hopefully that sunlight coming in isn't causing a problem. I'm sure you can hear the little birdies out here chirping, but it's nice having the door open. It's a little bit colder in here without it open. So anyway, 
Zena had us running all over town in south of Oklahoma City yesterday picking these things up. We actually picked this one up on the way home. We had her made arrangements to pick this one up first, this one next, and then she saw this one while we were out and about and uh, we stopped and got it on the way home. So let's start with this one here. This one is a bunch of little metal figures. They're uh, made by Jada Toys. They're all marble figures. They're just little die cast figurines. Um, I did go through all of these last night and make sure nothing was eBay worthy on its own. There are a couple that could sell for like $5 a piece on eBay, but once you figure in, um, once you factor in um, fees and such, not really worth my time. So we decided we're just gonna mark each of these $2 a piece, or we actually might do $1 a piece because some of the characters are not like super prominent characters. So we figured they'll move really, really fast at a dollar a piece in our booth. And we paid, what did we pay for these? $10 for all of these. Wait, no, no. Was this, oh my goodness, y'all. What did we pay for these? It, was it $10? Oh man. Hang on, let me find out real quick. How much did we pay for the metal figurines? Was it five or 10? Uh, it was five bucks. Okay, so five for those and then the cars were 10? Okay. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to call Zena real quick and check the price on those because she was the one that made all the deals. So, so our metal figures here, these metal figures, we paid $5 for 20 figures. So even if we sell these for a dollar a piece in our booth, there's a 10% commission. Other than that, there are no fees other than, of course, paying our taxes at the end of the year. So 90 cents before taxes on these, not bad if we sell them all for a dollar a piece. So this one was worth taking the chance because we knew that we could sell them for at least a dollar in our booth. So very cool on that one. And then our next one, which we picked up on the way home is this lot of Disney Pixar cars. You can see they're all the die cast cars. We've sold quite a few of these in the past. So we paid $10 for this lot. There's actually, these are all listed on eBay. That's why some of them are in bags. I actually listed all of these last night. So we've got this bag here. This lot is up. It's, uh, this one is a lot of eight. I don't remember what I have this listed for. I'll put what I have these listed for up on the screen for you guys. But so we got this lot of eight. And then this lot of minis. These are, what do they call them? Mini racers, I think. Uh, this lot is up, six of those. And then we've got this one is so cute. It's a little forklift, like it's one of the pit crew forklifts that carries the tires around. And then it came with a little toolbox that matches. So that one, I really like that one just because of the toolbox. I think it's really neat. And then we have another little forklift guy and it's a clown. It's a stunt performer is his is its name, I guess. But pretty cool. And then we've got, these are all, these ones here that are not bagged are all listed individually. We've got the Dino Coke car. Got this guy with his little headset. Uh, I think his name is Bruce Boxman. Uh, this green one here. This one's pretty cool. I like the green color. Some of these, these are pretty decent. Um, got the little plane. This plane is really cool. So this is a stunt performer plane. It actually came in the same set as this um, little forklift and also the tow mater. Now I did choose to separate them because these two sell okay on their own. And then our last one is this one. And this is the one that we've already sold. This guy's name is Aaron Clocker, number 48. And this sold overnight for $28. So we paid $10 for everything in this flat right here. This one pays for everything, plus puts us in the profit, a pretty decent profit with all of these still to go. So really, really happy with that. Xena did so good on these um, pickups, Facebook marketplace pickups and get my words together. Um, so really happy with both of those. Let me move those to the side and then we're gonna get into these bags. And we're gonna start with this bag. So both bags, everything in these two bags sold for $45. This sun coming in, I don't know guys. Do you think I should close the, let's, hang on a second. Let me cr close the garage door because this lighting's getting weird. Okay, garage door closed. Let's start going through these bags. We're gonna go through this one first because you guys can already get a sneak peek of what's in here if you haven't guessed it. It is Pokemon plush. Look at this guy. He is crazy looking. Look at his teeth. So we paid $45 for both bags. 
with this plush. Uh, let's see if I can get them out of here without making a mess. We've got Blastoise. This one sells for about $20. These are really good quality. This is Pokemon WCT. The fabric these are made of is, you can tell just by touching them that they're good quality. They're stuffed well. He almost feels like he has a squeaker in there. <laughs> I guess because of the way it's stitched together that way with that bulb there. But anyway, the fabric is really, really nice. Kind of like velvety soft. And you can just tell by looking at them. And they are super clean. We don't have to do anything to them. So that one sells on eBay for about $20. But it's a little bit saturated. So we will probably put that in our booth. And then we got Lugia. This is a really cool one. Same, really nice material. But this one says Pokemon Center on it. Um, really nice one as well. Also about a $20 to $25 plush on eBay. But like I said, with that, it's a little, it's a little, um, a little saturated just like this one. So this one here will also go in our booth. So those are really cool. Let's set those to the side. Is there anything else in this bag? Nope, that was all that was in that bag. But this guy... I cannot remember his name. I'll put him on the screen. This one, this is about a $45 to $50 plush. Some people have him listed for higher. I think it's because of the detail. There are a lot of different versions of this plush on eBay right now, but this one here that has the teeth where you can actually put your finger in his mouth and stuff, this one sells for quite a bit more. Look at that, all that detail, all this embroidery and stuff. Very nice. $45 to $50, I do believe, is what I saw yesterday when I looked him up. But I'll have a comp on the screen for you there so you can see. Now, remember, $45, we've already got 20 40 50 65 at least here, 65 Then we've got this bag, and it's got several items in it. This is a really nice book, Wings of Fire. It does not sell for much at all on eBay when I first looked it up. I didn't even look at solds because the average listing price is about five, four to five dollars free shipping. So we'll just put this in our booth. Somebody will pick it up because it looks, it actually looks really good. Xena was considering reading it. So really nice book, beautiful condition. So that'll go in our book for, pro or in our booth for probably five or six dollars. And I think it'll sell no problem. What else? What else? I gotta save the best thing in there for last. Oh, no, I just creased the container, dang it. So this is another one that is super, super saturated on eBay, but we will put this in our booth and I think it will sell very quickly. It is, as you can see, SpongeBob and Patrick. And it's actually Tommy, Patrick. Tommy is dressed as Patrick and Kelly is dressed as SpongeBob and they are Barbie. If you are a fan of Barbie, you know Tommy and Kelly. They're the little kids. I think they're... Barbie's siblings or something like that. But so this is really cool. People are asking about 20 bucks on eBay. But like I said, this one is ultra oversaturated on eBay. So we'll probably put this in our booth for 15, 16 bucks. And I think it will do well. We need to get that down there soon though, because the holiday Christmas is almost here and people are gonna want stuff like that. So next we have some Funko Pops in here. We've got Tom and Jerry. Again, these are a little saturated on eBay, which is fine because these are great booth items. I think what we're going to do, we have some plastic wrap that's like two, three inches wide. We may run a single or a double band of it around here with as little wrinkles as possible so you can see them very well and sell them as a bundle together for probably $15 to $20, I'm guessing, somewhere in that range. But those are super cute. Look at Jerry has a hammer. He's ready to get Tom. <laughs> So cute. Tom has a little bellhop hat on and a little name tag that says Tom on it. Super, super cute. So those are going to be really cool in the booth. Those will look great in our booth together. And then we've got one more Funko Pop. This one is in a hard stack. Um, it is a Mickey Mouse Firefighter, like special edition Walmart one. This one only sells for about $15 on eBay. So we'll probably still put this one in our booth, but I'm going to take this hard case. I have some Funko Pops that have autographs on them in my personal collection and I'm probably going to steal this hard case because it's a $15 pop. It doesn't need a hard stack so I'm going to put one of my nice autographed Funko Pops in this here. So 
pretty cool. That's another very, this is just a fun pickup. This is my favorite pickup of the day. So last but not least, the best thing out of the whole lot, you see that down there? Looks like a Nintendo. It is a Nintendo, but it's a miniature Nintendo. So this is a miniature Nintendo. It's preloaded with a lot of games. I'm not sure how many games are preloaded in it, but this thing has like a three to 400% sell through rate on eBay right now. And it sells easily, easily for $70. A lot of people are selling it for about 80. I'll put comps on the screen for you guys for this. When I saw this, Xena showed me this a lot. I saw the Pokemon plush first and then I saw this and I went, let me look that up because I know some of the minis and the classics sell really well. I looked this up by model number. Um, if you want to look it up yourself, you're welcome to. It is CLV001. Great sell-through rate. Great sell-through rate. $70 to $80. No problem. Really happy with that. I'm going to have a fun time testing this as well. So excited to get that one done. But pretty good, guys. $45 for all, all of this. We will make more than that just on this alone, and then we will make a pretty good profit on the rest of this, whether it be in the booth or online. So really, really happy. Xena has been killing it on the freaking Facebook Marketplace game. She's doing such a good job. I'm going to look up and see what's our next order. We've got a few more orders to pull here. We've got a t-shirt to pull. And I've actually had a couple of orders this morning right before I started filming. So that was really cool. I need to put... I left the hats out. I'm gonna have to clean up after myself. 248, number 248, we're looking for a Carrie Underwood long sleeve t-shirt. Let's see, it's gonna be in this first one here. This starts with 170, we're looking for 248. So let's check this one down here. 257, two, 248 right there in the front. So we got a Carrie Underwood long sleeve t-shirt and it's from the Storyteller Tour. Can't see anything on the back. You'll see a picture of it in the comp there on the screen. All right, so our next item is a mug and it is right here in the tan file cabinet. Is it this bottom one? I know there's mugs down here. Oh yeah, there it is. Something in it. Ooh, be careful. This is, oh, a Starbucks holiday mug. And this sold for $17. Did I tell you the Carrie Underwood sold for $10 and this Starbucks mug sold for $17. Pretty good one, not bad. All right, so next item is a pair of shoes. So they're gonna be here in the shoe rack and it's a pair of blue Converse high tops. Well, there they are. I actually just listed these recently. These are a nice pair of shoes. They cleaned up really well. They didn't have hardly any dirt on them. I honestly just used some multi-purpose cleaner to clean them, clean the uh, soles really good. But these sold for $29. Pretty happy with those. I only paid a few dollars for these at a yard sale. So really happy with those. Honestly, I wish these were my size because I love this color, but it is what it is. Looks like our next item is Another t-shirt. This one just sold this morning. Um, those shoes also just sold this morning. Our next item is a John Deere t-shirt number 496. So that is going to be... 496 is going to be here somewhere. We need to... Since we pulled out... <laughs> yeah, I just dropped that. Since we pulled out all the Christmas stuff, we've made a mess. Another big mess that got a, needs to get cleaned up. So John Deere number 496. That's 432. Can't even see the numbers on those because they're sideways because they're jackets. 484. I see 498 on the side. 490. Wait, 495. 494. What did I say? Oh, 496. My brain was looking for 492 and I knew that wasn't right. 4.96, right back there. All right. So this came from our biker bonanza haul. This was mixed up in with a whole bunch of shirts that we bought. This is a John Deere t-shirt. It is brand new with tags. And that sold for $10.20. So not a banger, but 
10 bucks. We paid $100 for several hundred items at that sale, so we did really well on this one even at $10.20. All right, guys, so two more orders, one more on eBay, and then one more on another platform, which we'll get to last. Our next item is another hat, and it's here on HB6, or in HB6, I guess I should say. Now, this one has definitely been in here for a while. This was actually one of my personal hats that I ended up not liking. It didn't fit me right, and it is an Oklahoma City Thunder hat. I'm betting it's this one. Yes beautiful hat you can see it's still got the tag on it uh i i have a huge hat collection or i did and i decided to sell a bunch of them on ebay this is a really nice one all the tags still on it originally 29.99 and we sold it for 22 so not bad it's been in my collection for probably six eight years or something just chilling so nice new hat somebody's getting it's probably gonna make a really great gift for someone for 22 bucks so not bad at all um and then our last item is actually um a mercari order so let me put this hat to the side and then we'll go pull that mercari order all right so our mercari order is going to be here in this tan file cabinet oh look there it is it almost looks like i just placed it there so that i would find it right away <laughs> i had a feeling it was in here though with these action figures and stuff but it just happened to be right on top this is a little uh nascar excedrin pm car die cast car in the box sold on mercari this sat on ebay for a long time so we moved it over to mercari or cross listed it to mercari and uh that sold for five dollars so not a huge banger but it's been around way too long glad to see it go so that's it 16 orders going out today 15 from ebay one from mercari and then of course our crazy facebook marketplace pickups really happy with those can't wait to get into listing the pokemon the the shark looking pokemon i think his name is kygor or something like that i don't know how to say his name properly k-y-g-o-r-e i believe is how you spell it um excited to get him listed excited to get this little nintendo tested and listed as well but um yeah so really cool xena's doing a great job on that and also on the online market i just recently purchased I think four or five lots on a CT Bids online auction. It's an estate sale auction and uh, I won a few lots. I have to pick those up today. I've got about two hours to get this stuff all packed up and ready to go. Go to the post office and then go pick up those auction winnings. Um, look forward to a haul video from that. Um, you don't get the greatest pictures on those online auctions so condition could vary. We may, there may be things that we didn't see in the pictures that we end up with. So I'm really excited to go pick that stuff up and show you guys what all we got. So I don't think I'll be able to film inside, unfortunately, because it is a private residence and it's just a lot of people coming and picking stuff up. So um, I don't think they'll let me film, but we will film on the way up to probably. And then of course the big haul at the end. So make sure you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you get notified when that next haul video comes out. And uh, we do appreciate you guys. If you would uh, comment down below too, is there something in this in these uh, Facebook Marketplace hauls that you really like, or are we crazy for buying some of this stuff? Let us know. If you have any other questions about videos or if you just have a general reseller question, I would love to hear from you. I'll do my best to answer any questions I can. If you have a video request, let us know that also. Um, always glad to hear from you guys and see what kind of videos are you looking for? What are your favorite kind of reseller videos? And uh, I'll do my best to, to oblige. So appreciate you guys being with me this long today. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.